Hey everyone, Allison here with another Prototech tip. Today we're going to talk about gaskets. Protocase makes custom metal enclosures in two to three days with no minimum order. But did you know we make custom gaskets too? These gaskets can be made for your custom electronic enclosures or any application you require. A gasket is a mechanical seal that fills a space between two or more mating parts. For an electronic enclosure, a gasket protects the internal components from things like dust, debris, and moisture. Essentially, a gasket keeps in what's meant to be in and keeps out what's meant to be out. We cut custom gaskets using our CNC router process. We offer several different material options, which each offer their own unique strengths and advantages. Our website has a full list of the material options that we offer. Here's a quick rundown of each type. Neoprene rubber. So neoprene rubber is a highly resistant material and is often used for outdoor and marine applications. Neoprene foam. Also known as Monarch, neoprene foam is a soft, flexible, and durable form-fitting sponge rubber that provides good thermal and moisture insulation. Buna N foam. So this type of material meets UL fire extinguishing specifications. It's made from a blend of Buna N, neoprene, and vinyl. Buna N foam offers good resistance to oil and also restricts water, air, and gases from being absorbed. Paleurethane foam. Also known as poron urethane, polyurethane foam material will bounce back to shape quickly, even after extended compression. This type of material stands up to wear caused by rubbing and scraping. Polyurethane foam's open cell construction allows water, air, and gases to be absorbed. This type of material is best used to absorb shock and vibration. Abrasion resistant rubber SBR. SBR stands for styrene butadiene rubber. This type of material is harder and offers better abrasion resistance than natural rubber. SBR is not recommended for outdoor use. Aramid Buna N. This type of material is made from a blend of aramid fiber and Buna N rubber, which creates a material that resists oil, water, and ethylene. Some of the gasket materials we offer have adhesive backing, while others do not. We offer gasket materials in a variety of thicknesses, which you can view on our website. Durometer is the hardness of a material. In other words, it's a way of measuring a material's resistance to permanent indentation. Many of the gasket materials we offer, particularly rubber, have a corresponding durometer noted on our website. The higher the durometer, the harder the material. For instance, I have in front of me here different durometer options for high-strength, multi-purpose neoprene rubber that we stock here at Protocase. We have 30A, 50A, 60A, and 70A durometer. And it's difficult to see the difference, but when you touch the rubber for the 30A durometer and the 70A durometer and press down, you can absolutely feel the difference in hardness. Let's talk about constraints for a few minutes. So for one, the material that you choose for your custom gasket must meet a minimum rigidity in order to ensure a precise cut. We recommend staying within 30A to 70A durometer. We can use softer materials if necessary, but cutting accuracy may be sacrificed. In terms of thickness, we can accommodate between 1 quarter of an inch and 1 64th of an inch thickness. We also have a few constraints to keep in mind for part and cutout dimensions. For overall minimum size, your gasket should be more than 1.25 inches in diameter. The smallest hole diameter we can accommodate is 0.06 inches. Our CNC router tolerance is plus or minus 0.03 inches. And finally, you need to make sure that the tangent of any cutout in your gasket should be at least 0.1 inches between itself and the nearest cutout, or the edge of the gasket. So we aim to make it as easy as possible for you to get your custom gaskets made, so we can work with you in a variety of different ways. For one, you can send us a CAD model of the gasket you want made. Our website lists all the different file formats that we accept. You can also send us a detailed sketch or drawing, or even a photo of the gasket that you require. Our team will generate a CAD model for you. For all of those options though, you need to give us at least two accurate dimensions for the gasket that you need. And of course, our expert design services team is here to help if none of those options work for you. So once your gaskets are created, if it's for an electronic enclosure that we're also making, we can install the gaskets for you before it's shipped. Or we can ship them uninstalled if that's your preference. However, if the gasket is going between the cover and the base of your enclosure, it's a good idea for our team to install the gasket first just to make sure there's a proper fit before it leaves our facility. For more information on gaskets, check out our website. 
we put some links in the description below. Our team is also always happy to help, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can email us at info at protocase.com. Thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip. See you back here next week.